Here's a typical labeling reaction, fluorescein isothiocyanate, FITSI, reacting with BSA, bovine serum albumin. Opening the NanoDrop software. Choice I want here is proteins and labels. So that includes measurement of protein as well as some dye that is attached to the protein. This is routine. All right. The dye I want to choose here will be FITSI, fluorescein isothiocyanate. It's not currently listed. So you'll have to go over here to the dye editor and choose FITSI, click it, and then that choice should be available here. FITSI. I've made a solution of FITC, fluorescein isothiocyanate, in this tris buffer, 30 millimolar tris buffer, pH 8.0. Concentration of the FITSI is 0 0.1 millimolar. I prepare the spectrophotometer by wiping off any residual solution. For the blank, I'm using this buffer. I'm putting two microliters onto the pedestal. This will be my blank. Now I'll load my sample and measure it. I'm typing in a name for my sample. So this has no protein in it. Wipe the top and the bottom. Put my sample. Measure. This is my spectrum here. It's off scale. So I'll double click here. And this is a pretty good spectrum for my FITSI. There are two important numbers here. One is measuring the absorbance at 495 nanometers, which is this peak here. And the other is measuring the absorbance at 280, and that's this number here. Here in my calculator, I've taken the absorbance at 280 divided by the absorbance at 495 nanometers, and I got a ratio of 0.32. I repeated it. I got similar values, slightly higher, but similar. The ratio here, 2.91 divided by 9.03, gives me a similar ratio, 0.32. So that ratio that I found of 0.32, uh, I put that into this data table here, saying this is the absorbance at 280 nanometers as a ratio of the absorbance at 495. This is the extinction coefficient for FITSI, 70,000. The machine is saying that given the extinction coefficient of 70,000 per molar, uh, that the actual concentration here is 131 micromolar. Now I've got a fraction here of labeled protein, so it's labeled with FITSI. I'm going to take the spectrum of that. I've loaded the labeled protein. I'll press measure. And I get a spectrum that has this peak here due to the dye, the fluorescein. And it has a peak here that's due to protein and dye. It is telling me here that the absorbance at 495 nanometers is 4.85, which corresponds to a concentration of about 70 micromolar fluorescein. It's telling me here that the absorbance at 280 is 2.71.
some of this absorbance is due to the fluorescein, the FITSI, and some of this absorbance is due to the protein itself. The computer is suggesting that the concentration of the protein is 1.1 megs per mil. Now that is not the truth, but it's close to the truth. It's really saying that the absorbance at 280 nanometers is 1.1 after we subtract out the contribution of FITSI to this absorbance at 280 nanometers. I will show you that on paper. When we took the spectrum of just FITSI, saw that the peak at 495 nanometers is significantly taller than this small peak at 280 nanometers. And the ratio we found was 0.324 to 1. So I'll use this ratio now to correct the spectrum of the protein plus FITSI. All right, when we did the protein plus FITSI, the numbers were 4.85 for the absorbance at 495 nanometers and 2.71 for the absorbance at 280 nanometers. If we take 0.324 of the 4.85, in other words, multiply 0.324 times 4.85, we'll get the absorbance at 280 nanometers due to the FITSI. So that's 1.57. All right, that leaves remaining 1.14 absorbance units at 280, which I can attribute to the protein. This is the key statement here. The protein we labeled as BSA, so I'll search for the extinction coefficient at 280 nanometers. This one, it looks like a reliable source here. It's Thermo Fisher. Here it's saying uh, an absorbance coefficient of 6.7 at 280 nanometers for a 1% 10 meg per mil solution of BSA. You should see that we can just do simple proportional reasoning. If, if 6.7 absorbance 280 equals 10 mg per mil, this is about one sixth of that. So I can calculate that more exactly. So my calculations say that this is equivalent to 1.7 mg per mil. That's the protein concentration in terms of mass. 1.7 mg per mil is equivalent to 1.7 grams per liter. Molar mass of BSA is about 66,000 grams per mole. So the division will get me the molarity 26 micromolar, 2.6 times 10 to the minus 5 molar BSA in that solution. That's equivalent to 26 micromolar. The extinction coefficient of the FITSI at 495 nanometers is 70,000 molar minus 1 centimeter minus 1. So an absorbance of 4.85 69 micromolar micromolar. So with these two values I get the ratio between them, that's what I really care about, and according to my math it's uh, 2.65 fluorescein molecules for every one BSA protein molecule. So, I, so this is the number of fluorescein molecules bound to each molecule of BSA. This is an average, there will be some protein molecules that have a higher number and some that have a lower, but this is the average for the population in that sample. I've placed some of the labeled protein in a quartz cuvette and I'll put this in the UV light to look at it. So I'm turning on the UV light. Doesn't matter whether I use short wave or long wave. This is long wave. And you can see there's my 
quartz cuvette glowing nicely in the UV because of the fluorescent label on the proteins.